We've got some QA1 single and double adjustable shocks today for your street car. How do you tune them? We're about to find out. Hi, I'm Steve here at QA1 with our resident shock expert, Tim Anderson. Today we're gonna to talk about single and double adjustables on your street car and how we might adjust those. So a common question that we get is where they should put the adjustment knobs. Let's talk about single adjustables on a street car. Yeah, definitely a phone call we get quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> so there's 18 adjustments from full soft to full stiff. Uh, as you dial it up to a firmer setting, it'll stiffen both the compression valving as well as the rebound. So it adjusts both simultaneously. Uh, very common street setting is about four to six clicks from full soft. Uh, you know, that's towards the softer range. Uh, then if you want to dial it up to, you know, firmer handling, if you're going to be doing some aggressive driving or go around some curvy roads or whatever, uh, you, know, you can start dialing it up firmer. Uh, generally, you want to go about two to three clicks at a time to have a, a noticeable change. Yeah, and I think the main point is that there isn't just one setting that's going to be the perfect setting for everybody. Something I'll tell customers is take them out on zero and then take them down a road with some bumps, take them out up, down that same road on six, and then that same road on 13. They're definitely gonna feel the difference. And from there, I think they're gonna have kind of a good idea of what their number might be. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, when we get into the double adjustable shocks, uh, what are we adjusting and how would we maybe set those up on a street car? Yeah, so this has uh, two separate knobs, one for the compression valving and one for rebound. So you can tune them independently. Uh, I generally tell people you wanna keep your rebound about two to four clicks firmer than your compression. And what that does, that gives you a nice uh, valving ratio to handle the, the bumps, uh, dips, and imperfections in the road and you know keep the chassis underneath you. Uh, so a good starting spot would be about four on compression and about six to eight on rebound. And again, about two to three clicks when making adjustments and uh, try to make them um, you know, simultaneously, you know, and still keep that, that ratio between compression and rebound. And when we talk about front to rear shocks, a uh, question I've had before is, do you have the same setting on the front shocks as the rear, or how do we set that up? Uh, it's really kind of a preference. Uh, I advise people to set them both the same front and rear. Uh, and then they may find just the way their suspension design is that you do need to be, you know, if anything, you would need to be a little bit on the softer side on the rear. So they might want to set the rear just, a, you know, a little bit um, softer than on the front. And I know the shocks do come with a general guideline on where to set the shocks numbers wise. We encourage the customer, do not get hung up on the number. This is your car. They're all different amounts of weights. Uh, different driving styles, dampening amounts as far as vehicle weights. So we do encourage you to play with the adjustment knobs. If you don't have a copy of that, that can be found on our website at qa1.net. Well, thanks, Tim, for telling us about the adjustments for street vehicles. If you guys have any more questions on your adjustments or anything, you can give us a call at the tech line or visit us at qa1.net. And thanks for watching.